Hello, Soto. Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm very good. Are you good? Yes, thank you. So that means we're good. Good. Right, okay. Yeah. So this is our first podcast. I know. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit of a virgin podcast. Ah, me too. It's our first time together, right. isn't it? Two pods in one. Two no. pods. <laughs> two peas in one pod. <laughs> two peas in one pod, or yeah. two driving instructors at a dining room table. Yes, <laughs> doing the pod. Anyway. <laughs> Hi and welcome to the Swan and Soto Show, your new week drive and test centre gossip podcast. Every week we shall bring you lots of this. Turn left, turn left. And this. Should I wear my dangly earrings to my test? And a little bit of this. Who's coming for a cup of coffee? (laughs) Join us every week as we share and delve into the lives of us driving instructors and what really happens at the driving test centre. Anyway, so where did we meet Soto? Uh, It was Banbury, I reckon. Banbury, God, how long ago? Uh, Two, three years ago. Two, three years. Isn't it? At the Banbury test centre. Yes, it was a lovely sunny day. Possibly outside having a little Fresh coffee air. break. Yes, both things. Twix and coffee break. Yes, and, and crisps. Yes, Walker's crisps. Some munch, munch, munch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so me and yeah. Soto have known each other for a couple of years. Just, you know. Bumping to each other. Unfortunately. <laughs> on the road. Yeah. In the test centre. Yes, yes. Sometimes and, we pass uh, each other. We like to have a little chit chat mm. over a little cigarette, getting some fresh air. Yes. So, where did this all come about, this idea from a podcast? So, we was actually in Oxford, wasn't it? We, we bumped were. into each other at Oxford Drama Test Centre, and um, we were having a cigarette, weren't we? Yes. So, um, surprise. Who, who, who were we with? There was, was, was one elderly young man, I can't remember his elderly name. Elderly young man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> similar to me. Yeah. Um, no. Do you remember his name? No, okay. <laughs> do you remember his name? Uh, does that sound really bad that I can't remember his no, name? No, it doesn't. However, he was a charming older young, young man, man. <laughs> and um yeah there was just such a buzz weren't there and we were yeah. all chatting about um you know driving driving pupils and driving mm. topics yes. and test center procedures and and it was just such a buzz and we all stood there and was like why can't we just record this and put it out there because yeah. it's so funny yeah. we was actually in stitches and just sometimes when you're out on the road you, you need you those just... little nuggets of time where oh, of course you can you know, relax and enjoy a bit of life. And and yeah. this job can be somewhat lonely sometimes. Mm. You befriend your students, of course, but, you know, we only get to bump into each other at the test centre, don't we? So yeah. from this, this day, we um, had the inkling of, of maybe trying out a podcast and seeing if we can get anywhere with it. Yeah. Um, it's it's meant to be light-hearted and um, light entertainment to both instructors on coffee breaks. Yes. Yeah, so this podcast is meant to be a nice bit of light entertainment to both driving instructors on coffee breaks who are constantly on their phones yeah. and mention crisps. Yes. And like 10 years ago when you actually had a decent conversation due to technology. Thank you very much. Yeah. And obviously learner drivers who want a bit more of the inside scoop of what actually happens at the test centre when the lovely driving instructors stay behind yes because we need a bit of break don't we we do yeah okay so what Test. questions yes do our learner drivers ask us on a regular basis just before their driving test that's the one yeah okay question number one have a listen to this clip so what do you do when i'm out on my driving test so 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 what do we actually do on a driving test well, and when we stay at the test centre, what what do we actually do? Well, well first of all, we, sometimes nature calls, so we need to go to the <laughs> to the office, yeah, to the toilet, okay? If that test yeah. centre has a toilet. Obviously, yeah, some and sometimes don't. don't, yeah, okay. But usually we are on the phone, and usually uh, we go outside for fresh air. Sometimes you can hear a dog barking in the distance, that's because we are outside sometimes. <laughs> What is the most dreaded question in the test centre? Hang on, we've got a clip here. Wait for it. Would you like your driving instructor to come with you on your driving test? So, Soto, when we hear that question, yeah. what what's actually going on in the instructor's mind? Uh, I hope not. I hope not. It's a proper word. Really. So, if you would like your driving instructor to go out with you, just bear in mind that they don't actually have any work colleagues and you're depriving them of 40 minutes of actually interacting on a social level with someone of their level most of the time. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's true. Yeah. If you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it depends on kind of level. Anyway, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. So um, no, we don't really want to go out on test with you. Um, so maybe next time you should ask your mum or your brother. <laughs> We can your dog sister. if you want yeah. to come out with Even them. a parrot if you've got one. Yeah, that that would work. Turn left, turn left. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do when we're on test? What what is what is the inside scoop on this? Ah, we we always talk about uh, our pupils first of all. They say like he's nervous, she's never was yeah, and how so it was. Lots of small talk. Yeah, so of course we don't before. divulge personal information. Occasionally. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's what goes on between the test centre four walls, isn't it? Really, That's kept, true. Kept, it's kept yeah, in, it is. in the test centre, it is. It is. and you know it stays there mm. sometimes. Well, it does spread around with the other instructors, but it depends what the topic's about. It does depend what the topic's yeah, about. Could Most times, go. we end up having this question. So, who's coming for a cup of coffee then? Who's going for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Yeah. So what, what actually happens, so once you say, no, I don't want my driving instructor out on the driving test, you tootle off with the examiner into the car park and we're all got our eyes glued to the window. Yes. And once you've done your reverse bay park, however, not in Banbury because they don't have a no, car park no. there, um, we wait for the last learner to scarper off out of the car park and then we get the... The party. <laughs> Who's <laughs> coming for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Soto isn't asking that question. Soto's going, who's, who's coming like, out for a fag? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So every test centre has their kind of little quirk. Sometimes in Northampton, there's a little coffee shop around the corner, but it closes at like one o'clock. So if oh, you have like a good. two o'clock driving test, then you, you can't get Can't coffee. you pre-order it and let, tell them to leave it at the side there? Even It'd be a bit cold, cold though, wouldn't it? Doesn't, yeah, but it's wet. But no, no, Northampton Test Centre doesn't actually allow you to have a um, coffee machine or tea, tea Or even a kettle. Or a kettle. Health and safety. Oh, really? See, my argument on that one is why does... Oxford's Banbury, Ox. Does Oxford have one? No, it's no. health and safety again. Health and safety. Rugby. Do you know they have their bars of chocolate? They have um, packs of biscuits. Do they need health and safety for that as well? No, Strange. I don't think so. It's a bit, <laughs> bit rubbish, really. It is, isn't it? Put the coin <laughs> you in. Might be burn careful, your the machine might attack you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Come so, on. I think we all know how to make a bloody coffee. Put the put the kettle on and whatever. It's not that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so this is what kind of generally happens when you lot are out on your driving test. Yes, that's right. So here's uh, another common question that sometimes our learner drivers do ask Stop. us. Should I wear my dangly earrings to my test to show that I'm looking at my mirrors? Have you ever had a student that's, uh, asked if they can, should wear their earrings so that the examiners make sure that they look in their mirrors? Um, I've not, No, I haven't, but I did advise one, though, to wear a cap. You, you advise them to wear a cap whilst yes, driving whilst on driving. a test. Mm. Why? Well, uh, the examiner is obviously not going to look at your lovely eyes when you're looking at the mirror to see before you indicate. But they know that if you've got a cap on, their head turns. But surely the examiners are trained and they sit at a certain angle as well in the chair. They, they, they do, do they, they do. But they sometimes don't realise that you have turned your head. Have you? <laughs> Even when the pupil said, I have. They made, yeah, I mean, that's open for debate, that kind uh, well, of topic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's true. But if you know, do you sit at an angle? Because I, I sit I sit square to the windscreen. I don't sit on my left bunch. <coughs> because you get numb about it. <laughs> yeah, because you have to twiddle around exactly. in your chair yeah. and, and no, balance I, I, out the corner, weight. The corner of my eye is enough for me to recognise if the pupil has turned or not. Yeah, so, you know, it's just gut that's instinct, isn't it? Exactly so as well. If any learners <clears> are listening to this podcast, just rest assured that you don't need to wing your Pat Butcher earrings. <laughs> yes. Your clanky earrings, the examiners will be looking and they are trained to... Look. Observe your driving. Yes. So okay. Don't need a cap either. Okay, so another common question. This mm. is actually my favourite. So, oh. so let's just play the clip. What car will I be using for my driving test? Becky, whose car will I be driving on my driving test day? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just backtrack. Yeah. So we've had 30 hours in my car. Mm-hmm. And we're about five, six hours away from a practical test. It's, it, her test is next week. And she yeah. comes out with the question. She still doesn't realise mm -hmm. whose car or what the car type is that she's going to be borrowing on the driving test. Yeah, exactly. Thinking that her test fee covers the <laughs> examiner's time, the car, yeah, fuel, car yeah. insurance, and the instructor's two hours 
Um, Don't forget the tyres. And the tyres. <laughs> <wearing> t- <laughs> Maybe the alloys as well. Also, oh, bloody hell, yeah. <laughs> the excess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so have you ever had that? <laughs> oh yeah, many a times. They, they always seem to be thinking there's going to be a different car somehow. Yeah, it's why. like there's just examiner's cars and they're yeah. all one make and model and there's no horses or Vauxhalls <laughs> or Volkswagens or... <laughs> Oh dear me. Yeah. Peugeot's yeah. even. <laughs> also, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's the usual common question I have as well. Oh dear. Yeah. So, no, oh, learner okay. drivers, you will be driving the car that you You'll take yourself yes. to the driving test. Unless. Unless of. You know, let's say, all right, we, you, you use my car, my car doesn't work anymore. Some reason or another, then you probably use your own or another instructor's car. But Depends when your car breaks down though, doesn't it? Hopefully it doesn't, but it never usually does. Anyway. Not not normally. No, Have no. you ever had a car break down on driving test? Uh, no. Why not? Because my car is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Persian to my way. I must it's admit. Fine, but anyway. oh. Have you? Um, I've had my car break down in 15 years, about twice. Twice? Okay. On test. Ooh. I've had, um, one time I had the examiner refuse my car for an airbag light. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Dear me. It was a right, um, I don't say the word, but I'm, okay. I'm trying to portray the, 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 you know, sense of mm-hmm. whatever. Mm. Anyway, so I'm in Northampton Drive Test Centre, and yeah. there was this, uh, Lady examiner, dare I say any more? Okay, no names. No names. She doesn't work there now. This no is way. years and years and years ago. Must be no. So bag. basically, what Situation. happened was yeah. I had a little airbag light bulb come up. Yeah. Saying airbag. Okay. And I took the car to the garage, and the garage says, "Well, it's just the light bulb that don't work, and that's why it's illuminated." Right. He said, "But if we try and change the light bulb, which is about two quid, mm-hmm. we have to go through the steering wheel column, and." If we have to, just to change a light bulb, but if we do that, we might set off your airbag and that could explode and cost you two grand. So he gave yeah, yeah. me a letter to yeah. take to the driving test centre saying that the car was absolutely fine. It was just the light bulb that wasn't working of the warning light. Yeah. So this particular driving examiner would not accept this letter. We are the DVSA, or back then the Driving Standards yeah. Agency. Yeah. This test is being refused. Yes. Even though I had a letter. So, yeah, I have had a car break down. I, I well, know. Not break down, but well, being but, refused. Yeah, I know on, another on story, test. but the easiest solution to your situation would have been put a black tape over the light to not be visible, and he would not have even noticed anything. I did have that kind of bit of advice <laughs> after the situation, oh, after, but yeah. it's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit yeah. late when you're in the mode. I know. Um, yeah, another, so very annoying. <laughs> another instructor also, um, no names, but she worked worked for Red and mm-hmm. they had the Mini. Oh, the Mini. And she had also the brake lights, the ABS constantly on, took it to the garage, there's nothing wrong with it, but it would not switch off. <laughs> and she had the, also the note <laughs> saying that it's illegal, the car is fine. And again, the instructor said no. And that was in Banbury, actually. I was it. It was in Banbury. Yeah. So, of course, the instructor actually cried on that day. She was very upset. Well, it's very distressing, yeah. isn't it? <clears> so, <throat> it is. if you yeah. are taking a car, hopefully you're driving instructors. And by the way, you are actually responsible, if you're the driver, for this road safety of your vehicle. So, if a brake light bulb is out, for example... Mm-hmm. I have a story about that. Okay, we'll, oh. we'll get to that we'll, later. We'll cover this in a yeah, little while. Yeah, put a question mark somewhere. But <laughs> <laughs> if you have a car light bulb out, then obviously, you know, you should be checking your car. Every safety day. reasons At the start of the driving well, lesson. Well, also, yeah. Or you can pull, you know, take some responsibility learners. You know, be mm. proud. Wear, wear, wear responsibility with pride. Yeah. Okay, so cool. one of the... Um, Funny stories that we have. Oh, actually, we're going to check some Facebook messages. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There, so what happened last night is we went on to Facebook and we just posed this question to um, the funny side of Facebook group. So I asked, "What is the funniest question that your learner drivers ask you before their driving test?" So we've had quite a lot. How many replies have we had? Uh, quite a lot, but I, I think. Uh, have, oh yeah, here we go. Some more views. Eight new comments as well. <laughs> right, let's go to, I don't know, random one. Um, I will not say who sent it either. Okay. A girl booked her lesson with me. I checked her license, took her address and other details I needed. A few days before I had text message from her, are you coming to my house for lesson? Or I am, <laughs> or I am, or I am, <laughs> but I can't say it, going to your house. Yeah? Right. So obviously, 
the pupil assumed that she has to go to the instructor's house. To go to the test. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we go to them, don't we? I All think right, it's the okay. way the instructors is worded it on your okay. Facebook message there. Another one here says, "How do how do, how do <laughs> put how do put the keys in again?" But obviously, how, how do, do put I put the, the keys, keys in? <laughs> so, oh, okay, you know. if you've ever had a driving lesson, if your instructor leaves the engine on when she gets out of the car or he gets out of the car, and you've been unfortunate not to ever to stall throw, on your driving yeah, lessons, just try and practice starting the car a few times. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Test test driving tip number one. Take note. <laughs> yes, exactly. Another pupil. Um, here we go. Uh, I won't say a name again. Do I have to check the front number plate also? <laughs> when they're reading out the number plates? Is it the front number plate or is it actually the back number plate that they have to read? Is it always is it just a number plate? No, it depends which way the car is facing at the time they're going to examine it. But there's it. always going to be more than one car. So there could be a yeah, logic Yeah, I know. There. They're going to say to the red car, probably, and if it's facing whatever it's facing, they're not going to check the other side, are they? <laughs> Do you know uh, what I had? I had a pupil once who, um, when the examiner asked to read a number plate, she couldn't read it. They had to get the tape measure out and measure the twenty meters, and um, she still couldn't read it. Okay. But for some reason, the examiner said to her, "Can you write it down?" Mm. And she did. <laughs> he got a notepad and pen out and wrote. She actually wrote. No, the no, it's, it's down. happened to me as well. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had three Turkish lads. Yeah. From um, Whitney. Right. Uh, and the quite good, their English is not very good, like they speaking, not very uh, breaking. like breaking, <laughs> broken. And of course, the instructor, the examiner, sorry, says to the pupil, Can you read the registration number? And of course, the G and the J is yeah. the issue. Yeah. So he's looking at the number plate and he's saying, G, uh, J, and then J, G. Obviously, <laughs> the examiner. <laughs> It's, it's like, uh, I think you have to write it down. And of course, he got the paper and he wrote it down. And it passed. But pronunciation of the letters was an issue for the foreigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. obviously, they had to write it down. But yeah, it was... It, yeah, they, they yeah. It. So they if it. you ever can't read a number plate due to nerves, then maybe you should write it down. down yeah, and make sure your hand's not <laughs> shaking. Take a note, pen and pen with you. <laughs> to your test. All test right. tip number two. Okay. What else have we got? Um... Oh, yeah, see. Okay, my pupil said to me, I'm glad I practiced <laughs> reversing just in case I go down on a one way street. Now, come on, if you go down <laughs> on a one way street, what do you normally do? You continue, don't you? But anyway, uh, yeah, there's lots like of um, examples yeah. on there. We have, no, no, that's, that's the funny one there. Look, look. Okay, what's that? You can reverse read that paper. Okay, so yeah, we haven't done reverse bay park yet. <laughs> well, that's what you've just done here now in the test center car park five minutes before you test. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm, I'm, um, I like the audacity yeah. of the instructor who's actually commented there, bless mm, her. Yeah. So what could be... Um, so if I was to give that pupil who's not ever had any Bay Park practice prior to a driving test, I would actually demand her to demand from her driving yeah, instructor a bit, yes. of a, a bit of a refund there. Yeah, wouldn't you? yeah of course. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just... It's, uh, of Unless, course, I, of course... No, I assume he has done it, but maybe that pupil has forgotten. They might have could forgotten be. or they might have cancelled the actual driving lesson when that was scheduled in for. Oh, that could be also true. <laughs> the week before the driving test happens. <laughs> Dean actually get round to Bay Park and then oh. of course it's all, all on the instructor's head if that's the actual case itself. Yeah. Oh, oh dear, so that's okay. quite, actually quite funny. So hopefully that's kind of um, cleared up some of the, the, the common questions that are asked from some of our nervous learner drivers when they're out on their driving test. As, as you can see, we're not still nervous. We are no, getting, we're not nervous no, doing this just, podcast, It just comes out wrongly sometimes because our, <laughs> <-tied>. our England <laughs> is very good. But anyway. <laughs> so just okay. going into uh, I'm going international to language mode, yes, mode yes. right now. Because it sometimes always works. Okay, works. so we, we like stories, don't we? So what's one of the funniest stories every instructor has experienced it at some point as an instructor when they're at the test centre? And you're all sat there with your students, and there's a certain type of <laughs> learner <laughs> who's waiting for their driving test. And the no, no, no. The the yeah. examiner comes out and calls the, the said person's name, and he stands up. He he pulls out his driving license. He signs the declaration. And the examiner says, "If you would like to lead the way to your car, please." And the pupil says. I thought I was borrowing your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what yeah. actually happens when we're all sat in the driving test centre, us instructors that is, yeah. our pupils have disappeared and we've got this one random 
who's got the bus to the test, thinking that he's going to board the examiner's car. Oh, yes. So it's like an, a magic invisible car waiting perched somewhere in the test centre lovingly. Um, and the examiner hasn't <laughs> caught a car and won't allow him to drive his own Mazda 5 um, <laughs> around on the driving test because he's just got no L plates. No, so well, no mirror either. Probably. What are we doing? What, what goes through your head? Uh, you you know, must have experienced this. No, I, I have some experience, but I, I do know one examiner telling a story about this about yeah. situation where mm. he's actually uh, waited for a pupil to arrive, but that pupil hadn't. So yeah. he had time to sit around with us and we chatted away there. And he said that uh, I had a pupil. He came in, we did the declaration, checked his car and everything and walked out <laughs> we <laughs> read the registration number maybe wrote it down whatever okay and then of course the, the, the examiner says right leave me to your car there is no car <laughs> and then the, pup, the examiner says so how did you arrive here obviously he said I came by bus and I said so where's your instructor I don't have an instructor it's like sorry mate but it's cancelled it's the fact but he, he could not accept it the pupil would not accept it. He said, "No, I want a car." <laughs> so I couldn't believe it. He said, "So yeah, it, it's happened. Probably not just once. I reckon." A oh times. my god, it just yeah. happened all the time. In my fifteen years, I think I've seen it like three times, four times. But it's yeah. it's you do need to bring a car. <laughs> <laughs> Your or test horse, fee does not cover word. the use of a car, so you <laughs> either need a driving instructor who's willing to take you if you're good enough, yes. or you need to actually insure a car yourself and bring yourself with a responsible driver who's over, obviously, yeah. 21 years of age. Exactly, yes. Um, Three years experience, yeah. Because <laughs> you will not be sitting any test oh, if you dear. don't <laughs> do this actual <laughs> one little thing. It's quite an important thing. Yeah. And, of course, you need to learn how to bay park and turn the ignition on as well. Well, so, yeah, obviously. Probably also seatbelt sometimes as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is a classic. Please don't reverse. Don't drive him forward at the start of your test. <laughs> they want you reversed in, all right? Yes, they do, yes. <laughs> Back number plate to the bush or the wall, please. <laughs> and don't hit the wall. No. Right, oh, okay. okay. I think this is a wrap, don't you? Yeah, I reckon, yeah. Um, So we're going to leave these thoughts with you and we hope that we've brought a little bit of light entertainment to your... Um, well, I've definitely enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. You, did you enjoy my coffee? Oh, yeah, it's lush. Where is it? You've actually not drunk it. It's over on you the see, side. that's how lush it was. <laughs> that's how much Soto loves me. Yes. So, yeah, so we hope <laughs> that we've got you a few giggles on your coffee break whilst your pupils are out on driving tests. No doubt you will be on your phone and not actually interacting with your fellow peers. Yes. So we thought we would collaborate together and bring a slight bit of entertainment and driving test centre gossip. You're probably hearing this now whilst you're in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to actually get into the DVSA and get this on Tannoy, I think, don't well, you? No, you're just you wait. Wait till the next part comes along. You'll next part. There. So we have oh. a few things planned for our future four or five podcasts. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm already excited. <laughs> Hurry we, up, Christmas. We, uh, if anybody <laughs> understands or remembers mm. the programme Beatles about, yes. then maybe you will actually have some, some inkling as to some of the future plans that we've got for these podcasts. So be aware. Keep your keep your alerts about you, but we are going to bring humour back into the driving yes, it's test needed. centre. It's needed, and uh, bring you some lots of fun and joys. Okay, so it's at yeah. the end of our first I podcast. Know. That was bloody good, wasn't it? I loved it. <laughs> Did you love it? Oh yes, I want more. Are you are you now happy that I asked you? I'm mega happy. Thank you for for <laughs> getting me out of my misery, and now I'm uh, happy again. Yes, <laughs> you're the one instructor. Mm. I love all my colleagues, but yeah. you're the one instructor that does make me chuckle. <laughs> it's the cat out of it, don't I? It's, it's the cap. It's got to be. It can't be anything it's else. It's the or, cap or, and the beard. Or, what about the accent? Do you know? Well. Mm. Comes and goes. Well, it's a bit dodgy sometimes well, you when you're impersonating your international <laughs> students. I know. What did you say about the beard? Was, was... No, no, I was just about to say oh. that if you take your cap off, I don't actually recognise you. I, uh, <laughs> My missus says the same you're thing. Hurt. Who you... are you in bed? <laughs> no, I know. I know. You, you, yeah, it's you, glued to me. You, can you bring another cap I will. next lesson? Yes, I will. I will. Uh, next Definitely. lesson. <laughs> Not, not next lesson maybe next not a next uh, lesson no. next podcast meet that's the one yeah okay so just to let you know right so we're gonna let you know we plan to upload these podcasts every week yeah 
um, to give you a dose of coffee break when yes. you're out on your weekly driving test and hopefully not out in the car with your pupil. Yes. Obvi- obviously, we're not <coughs> targeting that because yeah. you're not allowed to speak when on test, so you can't play the podcast. Exactly. So we do encourage you not to go out with your learners and you can listen to uh, Swan and Sati. Right, on. so we would really, really, we're going to be launching our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram and on Facebook so please follow us and hashtag us yes, uh, Test Centre Gossip join yes. the conversation instead of leaving us a review and five stars make sure you do five star reviews um, if you can do a thousand stars it would be better no, no sorry no no five stars I think it's only five stars <laughs> yeah no sorry um, <laughs> so what we'd like you to do instead of leaving a review if you actually just copy and paste yeah. uh, the last text message you sent to either your instructor or your pupil yeah as your review yeah. and then we can uh, have a look at your funny answers or text messages and yeah. talk about it on our next podcast don't show don't use your correct spelling because it won't <laughs> until next time we'll see you next week have a good one bye bye